Hi, I'm Tiffany. Welcome to Towering TBR. It's that time of month again where I get to play my bingo game and pick what I am going to be reading for the month of September. Um, but before I do, let me tell you how I did last month. I'm obviously going to be spoiling last month's res results. So if you haven't seen those, I will link it in the cards and in the description below. Go watch that before you watch the results. Okay, so last time the one of the first ones I picked was B15, a book set in Africa. And this is the only one I'm still working on. I'm about 75 pages in, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to consider that accomplished because I have a few more days left in the month and definitely will be able to finish it in time. I also rolled N34, a black or white cover. I read Thistlefoot for this. It is a mostly white cover. I also pulled N33, read a full price book. And for that, I read Julia and the Shark. This was great. And lastly, I pulled N32, a book written in the 20th century. And for that, I read How Do You Live? So as you can see, I am very close to a bingo. When I get a bingo for the first time, I will buy a new book. And when I complete a blackout, meaning I've checked off all of the prompts, I will then go on a little shopping spree like I did previously. That will allow me up to five new books or a bookish t-shirt or something of the like. First spin. G56. This is an Audi winner or finalist, meaning they won the Audible audiobook award. Let me check my list and I'll get back to you. Okay, so for um, the Audible Award, I have decided I'm going to pick up Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. This is good because I like to get a classic in every month as I'm working on a goal of reading 12 classics in the year. And this is such a gorgeous edition. So I will obviously be pairing this with the audiobook. Second spin. <laughs> which is a cozy read. So for a cozy read, I have decided to pick up Eva Evergreen, Semi-Magical Witch. This is a middle grade story about Eva. She only has a little bit of magic, and if she can't prove herself as a witch by age 13, she will be magicless. This sounds so cozy and so fun, and I'm looking forward to it. Gonna put that back in there. Let's try this again. Spin three. G57. A great first line. So, for a great first line, I'm picking The Heart is a Lonely Hunter by Carson McCullers. Let's just see what this first line is because I got this off of a, a list of great lines. In the town, there were two mutes, and they were always together. Interesting. Okay, we're going to pick this one. Last spin. I-17. A cover by. Okay, I've got lots of choices for this one. Okay, so for cover by, I have a couple of options, but I've narrowed it down to two. The first is How Beautiful We Were by Mbolo Mbue. This is a dystopian set in a fictional Nigerian town and has to do with climate change. And then I have this beautiful graphic novel called Mamo, which um, is apparently about witches. Um, a girl goes to her grandmother's funeral her grandmother was a witch, um, and things are just kind of falling apart, and she kind of needs to take the reins magically. It looks gorgeous. And quite honestly, I want to read both of them, but for to put less pressure on myself, I'm going to pick the graphic novel. I'm going to pick Mamo. 
That will not be everything I'm reading, though. I have a book out from um, Interlibrary Loan, which is why I have to show you the back, because my personal information is on the front. But this is called What Willow Says, and this won um, the Barbellion Prize, which is a prize for disabled and chronically ill authors. This features a deaf character, and from what I've heard, it is really good. That will also be going on my September TBR. And there is a space opera readathon set in September. I don't know what the prompts are yet, but I am leaving room to add some space operas or sci-fis to my list as well. Tell me, what are you going to read in the month of September? And have you read any of these books? And would you recommend them? Let's have a chat down in the comments below. Thank you for joining. Bye.